Hi, my name is Dr. Kenneth Fong from OSS Eye Specialist. I'm a vitroretinal surgeon. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very serious condition called retinal detachment. Firstly, let me explain to you about what the retina is. This is a model of your eye. The front of your eye is here and the back of your eye is here. The back of your eye is lined by a transparent layer called the retina. And this retina is very important. It allows you to see fine detail. Retinal detachment happens when a hole occurs in the layer of the retina, which allows fluid to go underneath the retina and peel off. This is an emergency and requires immediate treatment. How do you know if you have a retinal detachment? Firstly, most patients have flashing lights. So you may feel that there's a flashing light in the corner of your vision. Sometimes you may also see a shadow in the corner of vision that gets progressively bigger and bigger. As this shadow gets bigger, you may lose all your vision if the retinal detachment hits the macula. The macula is the center of the retina and that's where the most important part of the retina is. Once you have a retinal detachment, you need to see a vitro retinal surgeon for immediate treatment. There are several treatment options for retinal detachment. Firstly, the most common way to fix a retinal detachment is by an operation called a vitrectomy. A vitrectomy is when we make a small incision through the corner of the eyeball, we enter the inside of the eye and remove the transparent vitreous jelly. Once we remove the vitreous jelly, we can then treat the hole that's causing the detachment with some laser or cryotherapy and then we will usually inject a gas bubble in your eye. Sometimes for very serious retinal detachments, we have to put in something called silicon oil. Once you have put the gas or silicon oil in the eye, the patient has to sleep in a certain position. Your doctor will advise you in which position you have to sleep. Very important, if you have a gas bubble in your eye, you are not allowed to travel by air. Because when you travel in an aeroplane, the gas bubble may expand and cause high pressure in the eye and lead to permanent blindness. If you have silicon oil put into your eye for retinal detachment, you may travel by plane without any problems. The main problem with having silicon oil in your eye is that you need a second operation three to six months later to remove the silicon oil. If you leave the silicon oil in there long term, it can cause complications like glaucoma or cataract to your eye. Sometimes retinal detachment can recur even after the first operation and then we might need to do further surgery called a scleral buckle. A scleral buckle is a silicon band that is placed around the eyeball to support the eye and is left in there permanently. Most of the time, the scleral buckle will cause an increase in your short sight and you may need to change your glasses after surgery. On the whole, retinal detachment is a very treatable condition if it's picked up early and the success rates are between 90 to 95%. Who are the patients that are at risk of getting retinal detachment? Patients at risk of getting retinal detachment include patients who are very short-sighted, who have high myopia, patients who have had previous trauma to their eyes, and uh, patients with a history of retinal detachment in the other eye. So these patients need regular follow-up to make sure they're not developing retinal detachment. Sometimes, your doctor may advise you to do some laser treatment on some weak areas of retina to prevent retinal detachment from occurring. So it's important to seek advice early if you want to prevent retinal detachment from occurring. Thank you very much.